Good morning. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day again today and uh, looking forward to all that God has in store. Um, we had a Bible study last night and it was the first time I'd ever done anything like that. Our Bible study was done um, through Zoom where everybody kind of uh, logged in and we had a group and we could see each other and talk to each other um, on online but uh, you know and I taught the Bible study online and people could read and they can make comments and so forth back and forth and it was it was pretty good uh, we still had some rough spots to work out but it was it was an interesting way to have fellowship and there are a lot of meetings going on like that I was in a zoom meeting uh, yesterday with the small business administration to to learn a couple of things about some things that the Small Business Administration is offering and learning. And there's Kiwi making, <laughs> making her appearance. Hey, you. She's got to come over and make her appearance. But anyhow, um, it, you know, it's, it's interesting how we can have that kind of fellowship. And it's nice to be able to connect with people that way, uh, you know, in some way. But it doesn't replace the fellowship and the connection that we can have with each other like when we go to church and uh, we miss that we miss having that fellowship and we should we should count that as something very sweet too many people take that for granted David went into a time where because there were a bunch of people out to get him so to speak he had to go into lockdown in the palace and it grieved him um, he said in Psalm 55 13 and 14 he said but it is you a man like myself, my companion, my close friend. So he's talking about this person that he was once really close with that had turned against him and put him in a crisis. And he said, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship at the house of God as we walked among the worshipers. Um, he said, we once in God's house, we worshiped together. We had that fellowship. We took that for granted. Now we've allowed something to come between us. You know, in our case today, uh, what's come between us is a virus. And uh, it wasn't somebody turncoated. It wasn't somebody uh, turned against us, uh, as in David's case. It was a virus that's come between us. But there still ought to, number one, be that longing to be together in the house of God. And I hope, you know, this isn't going to last forever. Maybe a little while longer, uh, but it's not going to last together or t forever. But I hope that when it passes, you'll understand and you'll appreciate the privilege you've had of being able to come together in God's house and to worship together. David, at the end of that psalm, uh, says, but as for me, I, talking to God, uh, says, as for me, I will trust in you. Um, and so, you know, while we're going through this time, while we're going through this difficult time, we have to trust in God. We have to realize that God is going to bring us through this and we have to listen to the directions that we've been given. Uh, but we also have to appreciate the blessing that God gave us in having opportunities to fellowship and take advantage of the new forms of fellowship that we have right now. I never thought I would be uh, teaching a Bible study online. We're going to be doing that every Tuesday night. And if, if that's something you want to be a part of, uh, drop me a message on this instant messenger and I'll send you a link of how to get in. You'll have to download the Zoom uh, software, which is really simple. Um, but you just download the free Zoom software and then I'll give you the link to get in and you're welcome to join us on Tuesday nights at 7. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's something we take for granted. Being able to look at somebody face to face. Being able to shake their hand. Being able to sit together in worship, being able to sing songs and praises to God, being able to do that together. I hope if nothing else comes of this, I hope an appreciation for Christian fellowship will clarify itself in our hearts and minds and lives and we won't take being in church for granted anymore but that we'll come together and worship together and lift up, the pray, or lift up praise to God together and we'll thank Him for the opportunity of fellowship. Well, I'm 
I got to get busy. I got a whole bunch of things that I have to do today. I'm not going to be seeing anybody much today. I'm staying to myself, but uh, I still have a lot of things that I have to accomplish. So, and I'm sure you do too. But thank you for sharing this time with me. And I just want to have a quick word of prayer with you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this new day you've given us. The sunshine, the birds are singing, it's beautiful outside. And Father, we uh, are able to fellowship with you right now. Help us, Father, to learn to appreciate how much it means to be in fellowship with one another in your house and to take advantage of that when that opportunity then uh, presents itself again. Bless this time we've shared here today. I pray, Lord, it honors you in some way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, you have a great day today, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in fellowship someday real soon. God bless.